Hello everybody. This is Janet from Cherish Treasures Thrifting at Maddie's on Main and bringing you along with me. Hope you enjoy the trip. I always like to look for cut glass, um, EAPG glass, and always checking out the cameras. I love antique and vintage cameras and pulling out a tripod here, but I find something that I cannot pass by and it's a Bushnell rangefinder and I know just the person it's perfect for. So let's continue on and I'll tell I you what we're gonna look at. Exactly who that belongs to. So I pick it up. Milk glass, elegant glass, amber glass, toys, plush. I always check out the toys. I like to look for um, dollhouse furniture, um, plush. I'm going back to the compote here, smoky glass. I'm not sure who that's made by, but then I spot the, I can't, is it Ellie Smith? Viking, I'm not sure which but it's a lidded uh, candy dish. Beautiful in an amber glass. And unfortunately, there's a chip. Some things you can forgive a chip on, but this isn't one of those. So I pass it by and I go back. I always look at the toys, always look at the games. And like I, I told you, I'm looking for specific things. They have a lot of Boyd's Bears that Boyd's Bears there that somebody took a really good care of. They're boxed in um, acrylic containers. Uh, doll, I, I was thinking there might be some dollhouse furniture here, but it's just um, plastic dish sets, which isn't a bad thing to, to purchase. I like to look for Inuit or ethnic dolls, um, Native American dolls. Um, but there weren't any there today. This is the section that Maddie has that has a lot of teapots. A lot of them. There's a lot of Japanese ones, a lot of contemporary ones, but I always check them out. I love dishes, so, and serving type pieces. A lot of quilts. I should have picked this one up. I don't know why I didn't. I wish I would have, because it looks very well made. Jean quilts, I did pick up one of those. There were two and very well made. Jewelry, which I do check out. A lot of figurines. Um, you always want to look for occupied Japan ones. I find a Fenton, the praying girl. I wish there would have been the praying boy to go with it, but I picked her up and I picked up a it was um, made in Japan, but it was a Dresden style with a lace skirt ballerina. She cleaned up beautifully, so I loved it. It's hard to find the Dresden ones, but this was this was nice. No chips, cracks, beautiful. A lot of precious moments at Maddie's. and a lot of figurines. And people do like dogs, specific type animals. I love this section with the insulators, the tobacco boxes, tins. And this is a framed um, cut off hair pigeons, I guess. They belong to somebody. It's named on the back. I wish I would have bought it. I almost did. And I'm happy for whoever did buy it because it's gone now. But just an unusual piece, but beautiful curls. I do check out the jewelry. I love miniature perfume bottles. And I do sell a lot of those. But on eBay anymore, you have to be careful. Um, they're very particular about contents in perfume bottles, if it's vintage, if it's new, and if you have any Chanel or things like that, do not even attempt to sell it because you'll get banned. So I'm just looking at these. I, I, I thought I picked them up, but I must have I must have set them down and not gone back to them. So no problem. Somebody else got them and that's great because there's enough for everybody.
I did pick up this bracelet. It's a brass and copper kind of braided wrapped bangle for a man. Vintage and um, not something that you come across very often. So not sure how it will sell, but I'm certainly going to try. And just taking the rest of my belongings up to my pile and gonna check out. I found some um, Dr. Seuss books and an incredible pumpkin fairy that I can't wait to list. And I'll bring you along with me the next time I come back. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the, enjoyed the trip.